hello mariners welcome back to the channel so from the screen only you can see waiting crack course for egg this this is a furuno uh, furuno egg this 3000 and it's uh, it, the video is in short to clear your waiting basically waiting questions are here so what kind of charts are used for the egg this so in egg this we are having only two kinds of chart one is known as your ENC that is your electronic navigational charts and the other is known as RNC that is raster navigational charts so you can as you can see on the screen everything is in full detail so I will just try to um, spell or uh, I will just give the info or I will read out the points which is uh, deemed necessary okay so what is ENC and then question number two so ENC is basically it stands for electronic navigational charts what is electronic navigational charts so it is a chart you can say as a which is published by a IHO on the standard of S57 and by definition only you can say as a, it is it the charts all the information are contained in a digital format when we keep it up to date you will be able to find out each and every things enc is uh, in enc like zoom in zoom out facilities are available um, and uh, zoom in zoom out facility will not deteriorate the the quality of the charts as you will zoom in you will be able to see more details more features of that chart rnc now if you talk about rnc so rnc is also now it is also pro produced by the same iho international hydrographic organization and on basis of iho we are having uh, this every government is authorized by that and they produces the chart so basically R rnc rnc is your raster navigational charts so what is now raster navigational charts so it is nothing but just a copy you can say as a digital image of a paper chart and uh, it's a image of a paper chart and so you know if a image we will keep on zooming so the the features will get the deteriorates and and obviously some of the features will not be more uh, clear to you as compared to your electronic navigational charts next questions uh, they ask like what predefined display modes are available in the system so as you see on the screen i had attached a screenshot of the egg disk so in this you need to press on the custom and this custom will be on the top right hand corner so it, you will press the custom you will find three modes imo base imo standard and imo all now what is imo base so imo base is basically in which the coastline the traffic routing system the scale range the orientation and display mode unit of the depth height own safe safety contour indication of isolated danger which lie within the safe water egg disk display modes that are set up as display modes may remove vital information so this is a basic it will be give all the basic information that we want okay so now we had done our base mode now let's what understand what is a standard mode so in standard mode as you can see on your screen so you can be able to see the base mode whatever there in, in the base you will see everything plus you will be seeing drawing lines fixed and floating aids to the navigation boundaries of fairway visual radar conspicuous and these kinds of extra things you may you may know you will be able to see now then the second the third has come as all mode so in all mode the first since you know in standard you we can see the base saw as well so in all mode you will be able to see the standard modes and standard modes you will be all automatically this base mode will be there so now then other than this you will be able to see the sport spot soundings submarine cables pipelines ferry routes details of isolated danger detail of aids to the navigation content of cause and notes enc addition dates and these are the information addition to your standards you may you will be getting then the third is known as your other modes this is the fourth mode basically you can see as so in others you will be able to see the base display it will be a very base and the minimum and cannot be reduced more you cannot go beyond this okay like there is a, a 
options where you can select what all options you want to see so this is the bare minimum now you cannot go beyond this so it use may be helpful for initial appraisal in the planning stage as well as when moving the charts and basically it is not good for navigation you can say okay mariners so now let's move to the next slide the question number nine can you turn isolated danger in a shallow water on and off so how to do this so directly you need to go on the left corner of your egg disk as you can see on the screen there are chart info display and so on so click on the display then you need to go on the setting okay then from setting you need to go to the chart display and then you will click it on the chart display there will be option that all isolated danger so you need to click it if you will tick it you will do the save then as on the screen you will be able to see that at this depth and isolated danger rex how it is showing on a, and if you will unselect and you will save you will be able to not see that so you need to know which all settings you need to keep on which to be off now we'll move to the next slide so the next questions from the waiting inspectors they used to ask can you turn on and off the cello patterns so how to do this so for this you need to again same go to the display then go to the setting then chart uh, sorry chart display once you will be able to go to the chart display then here on this as i had make, made a box from here you can see there is a cello pattern and you need to tick it so once you will click it and you will save it you will be able to see this all the cello patterns this dotted dotted lines the anchoring areas and this all everything you will be able to see how it is basically near the anchoring area how i had marked it you will be able to see that all things once now if we'll put it off what will be happening this uh, cross cross kind of things which you are able to see initial on the first uh, during dawn mode it will go off so this is the things the cello patterns you can put it on and off now question number 10 they sometimes the surveyor they will ask like what is 4.0 presentations library and how can you confirm it so now what is what exactly it is so i will be just quoting the things what you are able to see on the screen i have spent a lot of time on these guys so need a good feedback from you all so okay so now i'm just quoting what i have written what you are able to see on the screen the responsibility for portrayal of an enc on an egdis screen is controlled by the egdis standard s52 this you all know now this is authorized by from whom that is iho and egdis manufacturer refers to your iho egdis standard so this is the specifically the latest pre presentation library is known as your 4.0 within s52 so this is basically the latest version now from where how you are going to show that if he will ask if he will ask then please show me so then so on the top corner of your furuno egg disk you will be able to see a question mark you will click on that you will be able to see manual and about so once you will click on the about so it will show the entire detail of your particular egg disk the updated version and everything so from there you can show them as it is visible to your screen oh, hope you guys are getting this if any doubts anything you want to say just please comment it down all kind of comments are accepted and i will try to improve if something goes wrong on my next video so what is egdis chart one can you show it now what is egdis chart one so egdis chart one is a database which includes a symbols whatever the symbols are on our egdis it's it's uh, shows that so from now like if any symbols are on your chart screen if you want to know what does this symbol mean so one option is that you just click on the symbol and from the pick info you can get the information but in your uh, system also you can see you need to just go to the chart info and there is a chart one option so this kind of screen will be displayed and you can easily 
uh, understand what it is okay hope you guys are getting this all things clear if any doubt feel free to comment now let's come to the next question can you tell what compilation scale of the chart you are viewing so compilation scale like you know one is to thousand one is to this and that so what is this chart so for that you just need to simply give a right click then this four menu bar will be open that sips on center pick up report and chart legend you just click on the chart legend then this pop-up screen a small screen will open up on the on your uh, egg disk and there you can see a compilation scale okay i hope you guys are getting now in the next question how you are making egg disk sorry um making egg disk weekly update while the vessel is underway so i had already make a video on also like ordering and updating of a chart you can view that video as well so for this it is recommended that egg disk units are updated once in every week we used to update once the update is completed the egg disk operator should ensure that the update egg disk unit is performing correctly with new data prior to conducting the update on the next egg disk okay nothing much it's just like it is very important especially in the furuno i don't know about some other kinds of models but in furuno if one egg disk has come we need to update that because if we are going to update the next we are going to update for the next week and the previous week is missing then everything will be just mesh up and we we need to again order or basically we have to ask from our chart chart provider to provide the information that how we are going to now do this and that all okay so this is very important for us that uh, before doing the next week update we should complete the earlier one so the update update should be done on a priority basis okay now the question number 15 how you achieve the best scale a yeah, compatible scale when using your enc so this you all guys are aware that when this uh, line line or something is not coming then what we used to do zoom in zoom out and we adjust the screen but in this furuno it is very very good actually you can say on the screen you will be able to see that uh, yellow marking has come it means this chart is not on the compatible scale or the scale what it is made for so you just need to zoom out put your ship on the center like off reset offset whatever it is and then on the top hand corner you will right now you are able to see this yellow yellow once you will put your ship on the center from there you just now uh, once it is on the center then a l mark will appear just click on the l mark you will this charts will automatically go on the compilation scale basically okay now the next question confirm scale 5 sale for the next harbor so what it is so there are two way to answer this questions open the chart legend you know how to open the chart legend okay the name on the chart of your next harbor the name of the chart will soon i am not going to brief this much because it's from the screen the screenshot what i had attached it will be much useful for you all guys so as you can see from the screen only that how you can see that what is the harbor chart what is the this chart what is that chart okay now next uh, we'll move to the question next question what is the sale number of the enc and which is currently displayed so this is a quite good question you can say we should all know so each enc is having your eight character identifier the first two character indicates the producer like the charts uh, you see always as some kr 1 2 3 4 x 9 10 0 0 0 0 so and so what does it means basically so the first two character like kr gb what it is so basically it is gb indicates your that this sal has this chart has been produced by your uk if it will be nl then it means a uh, netherland that the third character indicates the user band in which the cell user band okay and the 
last remaining five characters are used as a unique identifier for that enc okay and then you will be able to see 0, 0, 0, 0001 0, 02 this is like a update of your enc is that like 00, 0 means this is the newest made then update will come then it will so uh, you will be able to see as 0, 0, 001 and so on okay guys next question where did you find the data quality patterns yeah catzog setting so catzog settings i will show you where to find but uh, how to identify like uh, if we had open on particular cell we want to see what is the catzog for this reason so you just need simply again do the right click just go to the chart legend and in the bottom as you can see the marking there will be shown as zone of confidence b zone of confidence c and so on now this is like in a directly on a, a particular range we can identify now during passage planning we need to see we we want to display all the cat so that we can easily identify what all cat level we are getting throughout our passage so in that case you just need to go to the display go to the setting modes then you have to go to the chart display and in the chart display there you will be able to see a, a checklist box kind of there you will written as accuracy as you are able to see on this screen cello pattern cello water danger unknown accuracy so basically this accuracy accuracy is your cat jock. if you will click it tick and you will save then all these four star five star two star you know how the cat jock screens are displayed as you can see on the screen as well so that is your cat job the third question they normally don't ask basically the next question question number 20 they don't ask but this is just uh, since we are doing agree so better we know these all things so how to adjust your screen so a screen adjustment same it is directly you just need to press on this illumination bar and there you will be able to see day dusk night and on that also we are having different kinds of color patterns so you can just select it now change the display setting with the respect of brightness and contrast so that is just down to that now the next question is like how to display own ship data so own ship data how you are going to display so you can see own ship data on the own ship page in the menu own ship data shows on the ships msi and this all things will be available on the screen so i am not going much in detail it's all normal okay guys so next question which alarms to be selected for the root check so this is a, a very good question you can say as like so for this whatever the things i am saying is always it depends from company to company your company will always have a guideline like in my company i am having charts what what alarm should be enforced on our on our egg disk so that while doing a root check we should get alarms that this these are the alarms we should be cause and we should take precautions so it will be always from your company guideline but the procedure how to do is i'm just going to show you now which alarms to be selected for root check so for that purpose you just need to go to the again display and chart alerts so there will be already there will be a too much of the sensors too much of the inputs you just need to if your company is saying okay you need to do checks this all alarms whether you are getting or not like cause and warning alarm so you can select and you can save it this is the screen i had attached so that the video can be of a less minute and just by pausing the video you guys can be able to easily identify what i mean to say and how to go to that point hope this videos will be interesting i'm saying again and again because trust me guys i took too much time i had given much time to prepare this this video really now the next question how to adjust the chart orientation so adjusting a chart orientation will always be on your top corner top left hand corner nor the course up head up this is same as what we use in the exist so you uh, sorry under radar we can do here as well 
okay now we'll move to the next question how is the look ahead distance behind and how to activate so look ahead distance uh, question number 29 you will see of setting of the frames turning off and off on and off so these all things you will be able to see on your left uh, sorry right hand bottom corner there will be a too much of the options in which there will be one options look ahead options so once as you can see on the screen this is what you can put a vector you can set a vector setting also 10 minutes 12 minutes put how much you want starboard how much you want stern how much you want bow how much you want okay okay the next question is what is under kill clearance and how to set so uh, i don't want to waste your times you can see on the screen and uh, hope you will be able to use it we'll directly move to the next question the next question is like review pass track and so a playback option so like we can always see our agdis past data that how our a how our ships has done the track how she has been moved and so on so for that you need to go to the option others and in that you are having two option one is silent one is playback just click on the playback there they will ask the options how much minutes you want and you can put it and from that the from the beginning of your time what you had said it will start your ships will run next question how to set the cp and tcpa so this is as per my company procedure we don't need to be on on our igdis it is only for the radar so here it is kept on off so this is like where to get it is same where you are going to uh, say you are going to put settings for a look ahead sector vectors in that you will do forward uh, for forward aft in that menu only will be able to get this all things now what are the responsibility of master no need to go in detail about this it's uh, all the settings all the parameters how they this need to be in a conditions what safety depth safety contours this all things has been decided by the master and he will he will basically enforce that all parameters to your egg this all the updates all the things how much look ahead you need to put what are the parameters and he will always supervise that familiarization process is up to date or not any any error in the egg this he will be looking he is the responsible for these all things okay and also some additional points that shall be guided by the company from on the screen you will be easily able to see this is as per the companies and it's varies now the next what are the responsibility of navigating officers so if we talks about a navigating officer so he will keep the cross track limits he will not deviate from the track he will also have to keep that whether the charts are up to date or not and so on what are the responsibility of officer on watch so navigating officer is definitely none other than your second officer an officer on watch can be anyone and the things should be like that only okay now next we are going to see how to create a manual correction no go area and these all things so for this all we have to go to the planning mode and planning mode you can use your user chart and from user charts this kind of pop up menus will be used open and you can select any of it and you can prepare that okay now how to drop your position like what we used to do every hour na so for that you need to come to navigation mode normally on the left hand corner bottom you will be able to see a log in log you need to go to the event log and in event log there are two option one is user event and one is position event so position event simply you will be able to drop your gps your lop your manual as well okay 
now we'll move to the next question and we'll see uh, these are questions like how to check sensor inputs whether all the inputs are working or not so again you have to go to the display menu menu and in display you have to see other sensor setting so there is a filter sensor filter status all the headings and this all will be shown as pass 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 it means your it is the system is working now which sensor are connected to your egg so basically your egg has a should be connected with your ais gps x band radar s band radar time sensor speed log autopilot wind sensor temperature and blah 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 it will go on okay how do you <laughs> update your enc so update of enc depends upon your chart provider and uh, already there is a video on my channel you can view so i'm not going in detail because this video is already being let's keep on going it will take much time so i don't want to waste your times now how to view that your charts are updated or not this is a very important some uh, all, all the all your surveyors waiting inspector will ask so for this you just need to go to the log in log there is a once you will click the log there will be a update log so in update log you just click on the enc and the all the updated charts when you had last updated you will be able to see in the pop up menu as as it has been appeared on the screen next question how to apply manual updates on enc so for manual updates just go to the option on a manual update and you can just put a manual update nothing much to elaborate here you just uh, i am just saying these words uh, because by the screen you will be able to move to the points basically okay next questions now we are going on a very interesting questions i will just skip question number 52 53 54 and 55 because that is of uh, i will say not much of interest and i will just hide that screen as well now question number 56 what is the safety contour this is a very important question everyone should know so the safety contour provides a visible boundary between safe and unsafe water with respect to the depth and it highlighted on the display okay safety contour is nothing but just a line which identify you can easily easily able to identify the you will be easily able to identify the safe and unsafe water that is known as your safety contour now the second questions come the safety depth so safety depth is a minimum depth of the individual sounding and underwater hazard that is required to avoid the vessel grounding so okay second questions come what is a shallow contour or a deep contour now the shallow contour is used to further subdivide the unsafe area shallow and a very shallow kind of you can say as okay the deep contour is used to subdivide the safe area deep and very deep now just zoom your screen if possible if you can zoom it so here you can is you can see i had make a video where you can easily able to understand what is the difference between a safety contour, shallow contour, deep contour and a safety depth. So first I will be able to highlight you, you just go, just see on the right side that safety depth that is 7.18 meter. This is your safety depth means below this you cannot go. Okay. Safety contour is a 20 meter line joining is your safety contour. Shallow contour is a this 10 meter line which is joining is your contour 10 meter contour is your uh, shallow contour you need to have your mind deep contour with the white color screen you can see that is your deepest contour and that is always safe for us to navigate now you can see this how this color codes has been changed blue dark blue right blue uh, spot soundings so in the screen you can see that i had put a shallow contour of 7 meter safety depth of 8 meter safety contour as a 15 meter and deep contour as a 30 meter so you can see how it has been already in it has been segregated on your screen okay guys now 
that's all i would like uh, i will not like to waste your much of the times and that's all hope you guys uh, had enjoyed video i know i have been speaking very fast throughout this video but extremely sorry because i just want to wrap up fast because it's already consuming much and much time thank you guys if you like the video do like share and subscribe you can pause the videos in between so that you can have a, a long stretch and you can view the screen you can have a reading of uh, this all data and that will be helpful for you thank you for being at till end